there, my name is Nancy from Tattered Lace and I want to show you our foundations dies. They are fabulous. Uh, I have one here just to show you. Now, this is our square label. Really nice, really, really nice shape. But can you see how many dies there are on here? There's actually 30 dies and most of uh, these foundation dies have come in 30s. Now that means that you have got so many dies in there for a start, but also the increments goes as they go up are very, very small. So I'm going to show you this one and another eight of them, showing you how to uh, put them together, uh, make some lovely shaped cards and some uh, really funky ones there as well. So we're going to start off with this lovely one here. So I said already, this is the um, label square. And um, I was, I'm going to make a shaped card with this. So we're going to start off with a card. This is a card regular. It's actually A4 folded in half. And I've got it as a tent card. So I'm going to work with one of these, depends which one you want. I'm going to go, let's go for this one. Okay, so what you're going to do is we're going to put that just over the top of the fold. Now you could have it there if you want to, because this, this card's shape will allow you to do that. But it always looks nicer if you can bring it down so that you have got it right there. And then we're going to put some tape on it to make sure that it stays where it should be. So I've got some tape here. Um, so you want a tape that isn't going to be too sticky. Uh, so, you, so if you haven't got any low tack, then I do this. Maybe that's not the good, good thing to do, but it works for me. So I'm putting that again, making sure it's fine. Now I'm going to put that down there, but I don't want this taking away any of the um, the fish finish on the cardstock there. So I'll pop that there. There we go. That really, for that, just very gently there, that will be fine. I'm now going to take my plates. So I've got a magnetic sheet here and I'm going to put here like that. I'm just checking that that's fine, that's okay. Uh, pop that on there and push it through your machine. I will have to say that the dies are, they are, obviously they are, some of them are very small um, and lots of them are quite big. So you will need those larger cutting machines. If you, particularly if you want to do these style of cards. So I'm just going to lift, lift that. And don't forget, if you can, to keep your tape. So there you go. You have got your shaped card. Like that. Now, what we're going to do with that, well, what we do is we make cut out another piece, a full piece that goes over the top. So I've got this one that I've done already. You can see I've got some tape across the top and these, these are the pieces that's gonna go over the top. Now that's gonna give you a perfect card. So let's pop that together. You can see I do this so that um, I can see it easier that, that way. And then I put these pieces, this tape around the edges. So lining it up. So there, your card is absolutely spot on. Turn it around, you can see that. But we can, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. So there is your card. Now, what I wanted to show you 
what is so fantastic about these wonderful dies is that you have these lovely, really perfect matting and, and layering. Now, I've used these here, the smaller ones, because that could be a really lovely sentiment plaque. So what I'd like to do is put in another one here just to show those amazing increments. Right, so I've got my packs here. So I'm just going to lay. Now, can you see that is bigger than the one that I've used? So I'm taking that away and I'm going to the next one after. There it is. Look how small that is. And it's going to look lovely. Right, I've got a piece of cardstock. I'm just going to put some coloured cardstock, pop that there, put it over there run it through look at that look how absolutely perfect it is and that is literally only about two to three mil that's absolutely fantastic so you could then put another one on top you've got a nice little plaque there that's your card but there's we've got another way of using something like that so let me show you this one. So here's our next one. Now this, you can see what I've done here. This is the largest one. I've folded it in half, just like that. Turn that around. Now that's going to be your card or the base of your card. Now I have got two pieces here. Now these are all from the same shape. It's the square label. So we're going to start off with this one on here, look just like that. Now I've got a piece there and I've got two pieces of tape here as well. This is a nice easy style of card and you can use this with all of your foundations. All I have to do is put that on there, make sure that I've got it right. And I said earlier that I quite like having every other die to give you that nice look. For me, that is about half a centimetre and I think it works really well for matting and layering. Um, I've got a few other pieces here. There we go. That's going to go over the top. So that's using that uh, lovely label square, but it doesn't have to be just more of these. If you want to, it looks lovely. But how about using some of the other dies? So look, I put circle there in there. Now I like this because this is that you can do so many different cards just using your dies, just using those, no toppers, Nothing. You might just, all you need to do is use your uh, foundation cards, um, your foundation dies. It's really simple to put together. Put another one on there as well. You might even want to put a smaller one in the centre and then you've got a nice sentiment there. It'll look lovely. There you go. Basically, this is a square with a, can you see that? You can see there's a circle there as well. So um, you're going to have down here that little bit of a, um, that little bit of the circle. So what we need to do on the back of the card, turn it round, snip it just along the edge. Can you see there? You can see it just along there. If you have that right at the back and just snip it there, this will make sure that the card will sit up nicely. So that's just two projects showing you how to use these fabulous dies. And let's see what we've got coming up.